Hello there, this is Roberto Matthews with another tip for you. Um, this is a reply to a few of you who've had trouble with the table um, responsive uh, photos. And I can understand why, because sometimes um, the code has been updated and sometimes it's difficult to kind of navigate the code. So we're going to go through it one more time, but with a little bit of an update. This time we're going to use div codes instead of tables. That way you can have a completely responsive uh, chart that will change sizes depending on whether the person is using their cell phone or whether the person is using the desktop. So let's begin. So let's start out with um, we're, we got two panels in our blogger. We have the HTML panel and the Compose panel. We're going to be using the HTML panel to add our photos. Now it doesn't matter what sizes the photos are um, because we're just going to be using 100%. We're going to use percentages and things like that. So they're going to end up being around the same sizes. But let's go ahead and use uh, a, a couple of photos here. Let's use this picture here, this wider picture here, this taller picture here and maybe another wide, another wide picture here let's see let's try how about this tall picture here okay so we're going to add these now this part here you want to make sure you use the extra large large medium i would use either large or extra large that way you get high quality pictures because if you use the small size it's going to be um, bad when you try to expand it to a larger size. So let's just use the large size and make it smaller. That way the quality was still fine. Okay, so here we have um, all the pictures, but the pictures are actually um, links. And, um, you know, we don't want the links right now. Perhaps you could use the links um, to make bigger pictures, but what we're going to do is excuse me, what we're going to do is um, make it so that uh, it's just the images. So it's really up to you if you want to use the links. All the links do is that when you click on it, it becomes a bigger picture. But that's really up to how you want to do it. Um, we're going to select all here. So I'm just doing Control A to select all. We're going to remove the links by just clicking the link button and pressing cancel. And now we have just the images, as you can see here. Okay. Now, editing in Blogger is a little difficult because um, there's no, you can't do any uh, previews that are actually live previews. So it's really difficult to see how you're doing your updates. So what we're going to do is we're going to just copy this. Now I'm bringing it to a, a simple HTML editor. That way, if you don't have anything, you can just use this HTML editor, which is really, really uh, quick, simple, and you don't need to log in or anything like that. You can't save your work, but at least you don't have to log in. And it's this uh, information right here. Okay. So we're just going to paste that information in here like this. We're going to run it. And as you can see, these are the pictures that I had in. Okay. So to make them work, what we're going to do is we're just going to... Uh, now, if you have like 50 pictures and all, it gets kind of difficult to work with them. But uh, all you want to do is kind of separate your images so that you can see what's going on with everything. Okay, so we're just going to separate all of our images to make it a little simple. And if you're having trouble finding your images, all I do is I go to Control F and press the word image like this. And it highlights all my images for me so that I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Now that we have them all set up, we're going to create one giant div, one giant box that we're going to put all our images in. Okay. So that big, big, big box in this case, we're going to give it an ID of um, photo gallery. Okay. And then don't forget to close your div down here. Okay. And that should be uh, one part. Now, the next thing you're going to do now, this again, if you have like 50 images, um, you might want to use something like code pen or something like that to add this code. But since we only have one, two, three, four images, it shouldn't be a big deal, but we're going to make, we're going to wrap each one of these in a div. 
and we're going to give it a class name of uh, image or pick. doesn't really matter. Okay, and we're just going to copy this. over and then we're just going to end our div tags here okay so once again all we did was pasted our information in and we wrapped everything in a div and we wrapped each individual picture in a div okay so now all we have to do is style now, what you probably don't know is that you can actually put styles in line um, above your code. All you have to do is make a uh, a tag that's called style tag. Okay. Okay. Now, once we have our style images done here, um, we're going to actually affect the the pictures themselves, all the images. So, what we're going to do is we're going to get into the class that we made and affect the images that we have. So we're going to go to the pick image and we're going to say width 100%. Now you see how it stretches it out? That's because the height maintains the, the information that's here. So to overwrite the height, we're going to do height is auto. And now we have the proper dimensions to all of our pictures. You see that? Okay. And the pictures are already responsive. Okay. Now we have to, now if you want, you can restrict how big the uh, pictures will get. And that's why we made divs. So what we're going to do is the actual div itself. Now make sure you put the div above the picture because you know it's got to be cascading it's got to affect the pick the div first and then the images inside the div so the pick the which is the div is going to be um, max width of anything you want but we're gonna just put here 300 pixels so now when we get past 300 pixels it doesn't get any bigger than that okay so we're, we're on our way. We're on our way. So now we're also going to make sure that the pictures are side by side. So to do that, we're going to say um, display inline block. And that way, if we get past a certain spot, they start going side by side just like this. See that? Okay. Just like that and then when we get any smaller so we get our pictures side by side but we also get them to collapse when they get a little too small okay so as you can see you can see where I'm getting going with this okay so now uh, we can make everything centered by now targeting the actual gallery so now when we get to the actual gallery that's just an ID, so we use the pound symbol. And we're going to say text align, oops, center. And now our pictures are centered, but they still are going to expand. You see that? They're all different sizes, and they expand just fine. Now, if you want, for example, when it gets to this size, let's say you get to this size here, you want them to be 100% again. That way, if they're on a small um, uh, phone or something like that, um, they'll get a nice responsive picture that's a little bit bigger than 300. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to do something a little bit more advanced, but that's the app media screen. And we're going to say uh, max width is 450 pixels so that's going to tell me that when i get <clears throat> uh anything smaller than 450 pixels that's the code i'm going to put below here so what i want is the max width here to be 100 percent so pick 
max width 100%. So now when you get to a certain size, you're going to have a nice big picture. You see? So let's make it to where it collapses. Now what I like about this program is it also tells me how how wide it is. And that's that's going to differ um, depending on the size of your screen and all. So that's really up to you. But I found that 450, 460 is a good size for when you want to change it. Okay. And of course, uh, you can do all kinds of other uh, coding, you know, all kinds of other uh, styling if you're good with CSS. Okay. So here's our side by side. If you want these to be in the middle, you can do that too. To be in the middle is you're going to take these, the actual block, the actual div, and you're going to say vertical align middle, just like that. And now everything is in the middle like this. See? So there's our gallery. And as I expand, as I contract here, my screen, you'll see that it changes size and your your phones usually don't get any smaller than 320 uh, width so this is about the size you're gonna see now of course you can separate these you know by putting a little bit of padding around them so for example here's the pick again we can do a little bit of margin of four pixels all the way around it and now there's a little space between it you see that you can uh, put a border around it if you want of three pixels blue solid if you would like and now you your pictures have a little border around them you see and they don't lose any of the other um, capabilities that they have so that's a much easier way to do your pictures um, you don't have to um, change any of this information um, you don't even have to change the fact that there are links or anything like that. Now, once you're done, you just say select all by saying control A, control C to copy, bring it over here. You can delete this if you want and then paste the new code, say update or in your case, maybe save. And then we're going to view our gallery. Here is our gallery. Oh, and I forgot to do one thing. You see this little bit of gap that's right here? Let's fix that. So to fix that, we're going to go to our code. The actual image. And we're going to say display block to the actual image. We're going to update. And then run. I'm sorry, pfft, wrong, wrong thing update and then re refresh and there it is our gap is gone so there's our gallery works out pretty well and if I'm on a phone now I'm using Chrome which has this little this little um, inspector right here so I can change to phone and it'll be live if I press refresh and there it is And it works out beautifully. So if I have a mobile that's this way, if I have a mobile that's this wide, if I have the full screen, so it shows me what my site will look like no matter what. And it's a nice side-by-side -side picture gallery. It always fits. It'll work perfectly. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe for some updates. And I'm glad I'm here to help. Bye.